big time boxing fan, would we ever see you inside the ring yourself boxing? <laughs> no, definitely not. I don't think my elbow would like that. If you did though, I could already see Michael Buffer saying this name. Would you go by Pretty Ricky in Alaska? <laughs> I've heard that before. Uh, that'd be a possibility, depending on how good I was, you know? We'd, see, we'd find out. <laughs> posted a video on Instagram of your Corvette with the engine, you could hear the muffler. Is there anything sweeter than that noise? To me, no. Um, an all-motor LS7 um, sounds really good with a nice cam in it. It's got a nice uh, rumble, so car shakes like an old-school car. And you have an awesome Tatum sand truck. Is there anything like taking that thing out into the desert onto the dunes? There's nothing like that uh, wide open with that much horsepower and that kind of suspension. You can basically do whatever you want and the whole the truck, the suspension takes it, takes everything. Obviously you're not going to jump it over, fly over a Razorback. You, you can kill yourself in one of those things, but um, when you know what you're doing and you, you see the terrain and the whoops, and you can just hammer it down the whole way and it just soaks it all up. And that sand truck has over 1,300 horsepower. Is it kind of like a huge adjustment when you step on the gas pedal? Uh, <laughs> Not really. It'll definitely sit you back in your in your seat. You got a harness on the whole thing, and it'll stand up and really, uh, whenever you want. Just you just got to push the throttle down. So uh, it's a lot of fun. But I think the funnest part is how good the suspension just eats everything up and takes everything. Is that the go-to off-field hobby for you? Yeah, I've been riding since uh, you know I've been 10 years old. So um, nowadays I kind of stay off the bike a little more, obviously because of my job. How about Monster Jam? You've been to those events before. Would you ever get inside one of those trucks and kind of ride around? I always wondered what it was like. Uh, I've definitely gone to some, but yeah, I would wonder what it's like being up so high in that thing. You went to Paris, saw the Eiffel Tower. Will you be back there anytime soon do some traveling? I'll be doing traveling, but not to Paris. Uh, I've done Paris twice and been there, done that. If you could ask anybody a question and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be, and who do you ask it to? Oh, man. I'd like to sit in the corner of either um, Gennady Golovkin or Juan Manuel Marquez.